What is up YouTube? My name is Dave with Indiana Productions and today I'm bringing you part 2 of the Corsair Game Mouse Macro Tutorial. I brought you the very first one because I couldn't find any person that will explain it on YouTube, Reddit, anything like that. So I made a video. I got about four, almost 4,000 views which is fantastic. All them thumbs ups which are great. Helps uh, get it out to more people. But this is the November 16th update to uh the software itself uh it's a little bit different than what it was before i got the little hand cam here i'll show you the mouse right here so uh you can kind of see if you're confused about what buttons i'm hitting i know it's gonna be flipped but you'll get the concept uh the number of buttons are right here which uh, you know one two three four so on and so forth so without further ado this one's not that hard either uh, so the tutorial is going to go pretty quick. The first thing you're going to do is right here. So up here you got uh, your default and then your profile too. These are if you want to make different macro profiles per game you want. So if you play Battlefield and you have a certain layout that you want to use um, and then you go and play like League of Legends or World of Warcraft and you want different macros that lets you switch back and forth without having to create settings all over again so it's just a profile um, in case you want to play multiple games so the first thing you're going to do is you're going to click the create action button like before uh, and it's going to bring up your macro uh, settings right here it's going to be a it's, it's really really quick so all you're going to do is click the G1 which will go to the number one spot on the side of your mouse. Uh, you can see a little squiggly line there. Now with Battlefield I like to associate this one with my primary weapon. So what we're going to do is you're going to hit the record macro button and then you're going to hit one on the keyboard. So hit record macro, hit one on the keyboard, stop recording. Then you're going to hit save. That was it. So G4, I like to be my secondary weapon. Go back here. Whoop. Make sure you make another. Save that. Make sure you make another macro right here. Go to G4. You're gonna hit Start Record and hit Two. Stop recording. So G4 is associated to uh, Key Two. And then you're gonna hit Save. And then you're gonna hit create action button again and G2 I like to be uh, my 3 key so record macro hit 3 stop and hit save and then we're going to do one more which is the G5 go back there and make sure you make your create action button make sure that's saved create action button go to G5 Record the macro, make it four, stop the recording, make sure you save. Okay, now I got this question a few times and so I'll answer it. Um, if you want to make like your middle scroll wheel click button a macro, um, so like maybe I want to press the scroll wheel for like a reload. So you're going to click the middle click right here, which will show you the scroll wheel. And then save that. Make sure that you make another macro for this one. It's a totally different one. Oh, well, let's go back here. Whoopsies. No, you get out of here. Uh, macro 4 is G5. Yeah. Um, see, so even if you make a mistake, it's pretty simple. Um, to fix it. So we're going to go back to macro 5 and make it the middle click which is right here and then this one same thing except so R in games is reload and you're going to want to make R your click wheel so you're going to hit record hit R and stop record and then you're going to save that so G1 G4 all these are ready to go so let's hop into um, some battlefield and we can show you that it's working here so we're gonna go to here and we're gonna go to game 
Nope. Window. There we go. There we go. Let's make it a little bit bigger. There we go. So here we go. Um, maybe a, a tiny bit laggy. Oh no, it's not laggy. There we go. Okay. So you got your right here. So you know you click two, then go one, four. All good to go. Um and. Ooh. Then your middle click is your wheel there. So boom, 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 boom. And then you click it. You saw that, you know, didn't press anything on my keyboard. Fire a few times. And reload again. So you're all good to go. If you did like this video, smash the thumbs up. Tell your friends, tell all your gaming nerds that um, think that this mouse doesn't work for anything per se. Because uh, a lot of people are skeptical when they want to buy one because there's not a lot of information about it. Uh, so yeah, smash that thumbs up button. And uh, this was David, and I'll see you next time. Yeah.